I had to take a little bit of a hiatus. I had a bad tooth, and actually I still have it, but it's a lot better than what it was, and I look like the elephant man. I wouldn't have been very attractive on video, so <laughs> I had, had to take a bit of a break. Uh, shout out to Eugene on Twitter. Thank you. I uh, can't remember your last name, but uh, he goes by Eugene on Twitter. Thank you. You sent me some uh, some well wishes. I appreciate that. All right, so we got some cool jazz going on here. It's almost mellow, easy listening jazz in a way, but it could be applied to bebop as well. <clears throat> it's basically just comping. Comping comes from the word accompaniment or accompanying. Um, we're in B flat major seven or B flat, and uh, I use uh, a number of different. <clears throat> I use a number of different uh, variations of. Uh, particular chords, but there is a, believe it or not, a lot of people who don't, or who aren't familiar with jazz or don't play it, don't understand that there actually is a structure to it. Um, it depends on the type of jazz. Sometimes it doesn't sound like there's much of a structure, but there is. There always is. There has to be. How else can everyone, everyone in the band follow one another? <laughs> I guess you'd have to, uh, like, Maybe in a Frank Zappa setting or something like that, but those those people were amazing. Okay, so of course um, at the beginning of the piece, I just set out the the basic uh, the basic pattern chord pattern, just uh, strumming some chords basically. Now this is all fingers, which is something you should uh, probably look into if you don't. Every once in a while, just drop your pick, just drop your pick and use your fingers, and you're going to make a lot of mistakes and things will happen. But it's very good practice. So we are in B flat major seven. So that's our one. Then we go to E flat. And in this case, it's E flat nine. Now here we can do many variations. We go to G. In G, we can do G seven, G augmented, G 13. Now that's when I'm descending, ascending we go to G minor. That's what gives it a really bluesy sound. I love, I love playing with music that way. It's amazing. And after that, we do a C9. And then I do a little. And then an F suspended 2. Play it in an arpeggio fashion. You could always just go. Then we go to the G minor, and then I do a little walk up from E flat to E, because we're now going into because we're now going into A minor after that. So. so it's all chromatic. Then we go into an F sharp suspended two, quickly, fairly quickly. And F, F suspended too. So I will just, at the beginning, I just lay out. And then I spice it up a bit by doing some hammer ons and adding some extra notes. That's going from B flat major seven to B flat major, or B flat suspended two. Then with the E, I go to E flat nine, but I slide down to the E because we're setting up for the G. So it works. So. Then we have to, then of course we're going to change things up a little bit. And this time I go, this is where I go to the B augmented. So E flat with a quick E. Again, like I did here, but I'm going up this time. So while the bass line is doing a walking bass line going down, as well as the piano, which is basically just playing fifth and seventh stabs, pretty much, root, root and fifth, or root and seventh. That's how I set up the piano, played the piano. So in this case, we can, we'll, 
will ascend. And that gives it like a push-pull tension kind of thing, which is pretty cool, I think. So, then just basically E minor with E minor G, which works with G augmented. It's all, all relative, right? The relative minor. E minor is the relative minor to G major. So, C7, F, quick, E flat, and D. Then I go into my one of my favorite chords. I've used it several times now. The uh, uh, C six add nine, which will go with the F. Remember, we're still doing this progression. So I go. Then I do. It's a G minor slash F because the F is the the root is the bass note. And I'll do a A bass note, basically going from minor uh, minor to major. Here's something changing things up, make coloring it up a little bit. Got that major third in there. And a C, back to our F sharp suspended two, F suspended two, finish off with B flat major seven. So that part goes. So comping is getting a little bit of bass in there, a little bit of rhythm, a little bit of melody. And there may come times when uh, there may be a piano there, or there may, they, there may not be. You may be the only act instrument that can produce a, a, a melody at times. Now, that isn't usually the case when it comes to jazz. You always have a saxophone or something. But if the sax player is talented and knows where to play, where not to play, you can play that, and you can play something cool over top of it. So maybe I'll work on a lead to go over top of this. Guitarchopsfree.com. I'm back, and I have a review coming up pretty soon. I won't tell you what it is, so I'll leave a surprise. Facebook.com slash guitarchopsfree. Twitter.com slash guitarchopsfree. Patreon slash guitarchopsfree. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you can get something out of it. Learn jazz, man. Learn some of this stuff. I'll be back very soon with another chop. All the best. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, huh? Thanks.